we're making one of the easiest pies you can make with frozen berries, frozen blueberries. And I'm using wild frozen blueberries. And I just opened this package and the smell of the blueberries, the aroma is just intoxicating. You're gonna love making a blueberry pie with wild blueberries. I've rolled out my dough. And if you need to have help with making your pie crust, you can check out the video here. The crust is ready to go. The other ingredients are eight cups of frozen wild blueberries, sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, instant clear gel, and we'll talk a little bit about that, some butter, lemon juice, an egg for an egg wash for the top of the pie. Start by measuring out eight cups of your frozen blueberries. This took about three pounds of frozen blueberries. And one of the things you'll notice about wild frozen blueberries is that they're smaller than the cultivated blueberries that you might buy otherwise. Transfer your blueberries to a large bowl. Mix together one cup of granulated sugar with a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. The cinnamon just gives your blueberry pie a little something something flavor. And you're going to add one third cup of instant clear gel. Now instant clear gel is going to be the thickener that is going to make the blueberry filling not be running. And it's a commercial product that is a modified cornstarch. And the reason why I like it and I use it in my blueberry pie all the time is that it gives me a feeling that's glossy and clear. It just looks beautiful, it holds together beautiful. It's just awesome. I get mine on Amazon and I'll have the link in the description below. Now mix it all together really well. This is an important part because if you don't, the um, clear gel will clump. We're going to Sprinkle the mixture of the, the sugar and the clear gel over the blueberries. And with a large spoon, just toss it to distribute. Some of it will settle to the bottom, that's okay. You just want to cover the blueberries and then distribute it as best you can. Next, add a couple teaspoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And toss that around. And then pour your blueberries into your pie dish lined with your pie crust. It's going to mound up. Now, remember that blueberries really cook down a lot. And you'll see that I have some of the clear gel that went to the bottom of the dish. And what I'm going to do is just distribute it around the pie. So easy. Now, dot your pie with two tablespoons of butter that you've cut into small little bits. This little bit of butter that's distributed across the pie just adds a little richness to the filling, makes it delicious. Then top your pie with your crust and roll your edges. Roll your edges to seal them in. Blueberry pies often will um, the filling will squirt out. It finds a little way to <clears throat> squirt out of your pie. So seal it as best you can.
one way to uh, to do this is to make sure that you roll out your top crust so that it uh, has a great overhang, particularly in a pie like this where your, your filling has mounded up. Next, I'm going to flute the edges with my uh, two fingers on my left hand and the knuckle of my right hand to push to make a pretty edge. Once you've made your fluted edge on your pie, cut some slits so that the steam can escape. Next, make an egg wash by beating one egg with a couple teaspoons of water. and brush the top of your pie with the egg wash. This is going to make your pie brown nicely, be glossy, and I like to put sugar on the top of my pie. And so it, it allows for the glue to hold the sugar in place. I've placed the pie on a sheet pan and it's going into a preheated 425 degree oven for 15 minutes and then I'll reduce it to 375 degrees for 50, to 50 minutes to an hour. When your filling is all bubbly and your crust is browned, you'll know that your pie is done. And you're going to be happy that you put it on a pan because more often than not, your filling is going to bubble right out of the crust.